All right, welcome back to Endless Mode. We are puzzling out the puzzle, trying very hard not to break everything. Lily learns that you don't break other Dang people's it. things because it's important. Things have value. Uh, There's another one up there, or that's on a switch. Uh -oh. Okay, I only needed two. <laughs> Good. Good. Had to fight your natural tendency to just destroy everything. Hooray, a heart. Right, that being that saying, said, cut, cutting down some more mushrooms is probably good for your uh, getting oh, yeah. the thing from the, no, the these royal don't, cooking These guy. don't drop those kind of mushrooms. Oh, they don't? No. Oh. Let's see here. Can't go around this tree. Can I jump off the ledge? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Down, you're stuck with the golems. Yes, stuck with. We're not trapped in here with you. You're trapped <laughs> in here with me. Ow. <laughs> Worth it. Well, I think you're gonna get your druid feathers at this rate. Probably. Oh, jump attack still cracks them. Yeah. I had to hit him up with a little bit of that Shaq Fu. <laughs> That's not damaging my sword at all. <laughs> just just hitting it against rocks all day? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's not blunting the edge at all. You're fine. Oh, there's a hole I can fall in. Spiders! <laughs> I saw some spider webs back a ways, too. You can probably go through those, I bet. Oh, probably. Hey, what's up? Oh, it's the archaeologist again. Boy, am I glad you're here. I was digging for rare druid artifacts when my shovel fell down here. Care to help me find it, young knight? Uh, sure. Alright, how much you want to bet I solve this problem with explosives? Oh, yeah. Delicately now, we don't want to damage the artifacts. Uh, A shovel! Now Lily can dig for buried treasure! Oh, no. Provided she doesn't give it back to the archaeologist. Oh. She's a knight with a shovel. I love it. Haha. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. Ah, uh, Chris hasn't played, like, new indie games. Uh... Oh. Hey, what's up? Ah, uh, it's all banged up now. You go ahead and hold on to it. I'll use the exo one I completely forgot I had with me. You you okay, guy? Like, <laughs> you have a whole other shovel in your bag that you just didn't. didn't. All right, all right, yeah, whatever. Hey, we'll take it for shovelry. <laughs> and now I don't have to randomly blow things up with bombs when I hit the wrong button. I just go like this, and a coin pops out. I mean, you know, or nothing happens, or or is a coin sort of the booby prize? coin sword of the booby press. So I can always kill these guys like that. <laughs> it's true. There is sort of a, a slightly darker spot right next to where you dug. Yeah, I see that. It Do just... the shovel. There we go. Alright. Yeah. I mean, gonna be rolling in it now. I'm wondering what that archaeologist is really up to if you're finding so much gold. Right? Looking for artifacts. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, where else do you find artifacts but tombs? I was gonna say, also, did you ask the druids? Do they know you're here? Uh, I mean, I checked in back at the village. <laughs> no, I don't mean you, oh, I mean the archaeologist. Him? You know, probably not. He's just rummaging around down there. You don't really need to talk to the natives if you don't want. It's more of a courtesy, really. You have to respect the local customs. Oh, boy. Well, this really does sort of clear up the money problem, huh? It really does. That's 
somewhat excessive. Well, I mean, I guess it's just wanting to reward you for, hey, you figured out that the new thing does something. Maybe, maybe we aren't going to see uh, little plot holes like that every couple of meters. That could be. But still, no, that, I mean, considering the meager allowance that you've been working with so far, this is pretty good. Oh, yeah. The Jew at Elder told me he was Crocus' teacher during his apprenticeship here. According to him, Crocus always showed great talent in the art of magic, but he was also unruly and easily annoyed. He couldn't accept that his brother would be king and not him. Grouchy or not, we're lucky to have a powerful wizard protecting our kingdom. Mm. Oh, that tweet didn't age well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong there. <laughs> you're not gonna buy the magic crystal? I still made about a hundred gold. Oh. Uh, so let's see, I was wandering around and yeah, I didn't go in here and loot yet. Hey, whoa. what's up? Uh maybe? Alright. He's his name's Fletcher and he makes arrows. Well, that's convenient. Yeah. My name's actually Steve. Everyone just refers to me by that nickname. I hate it. Alright. Oh no. You need Ten feathers, twenty feathers. I need twenty feathers. Are these also, druid feathers or griffin feathers? <laughs> I don't know. I can't check. You can't check your items on the bottom list. That's weird. Uh. Okay. Well. I That's think it'd be thing. funny if he needs griffin feathers, and he's like, "I have nothing but druid feathers." Also, none of my friends will talk to me for harvesting them. <laughs> an ancient taboo. Okay. Hmm. Just to the other side of that tree now. <laughs> yeah, it's not as useful as I thought it was going to be. I mean, that just probably means this is the way to go. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, you've got 18 of those feathers you need. Yep. But I need them for my sword? I don't remember what you needed them for anymore. My mind's drawing a blank. But you needed them for something back in town. Yeah. But I guess I can also give them to that guy. So let's see if I go collect 40 of them. I was gonna say, I wonder if both of them need them or if it's the same quest. And we wander. Be real nice if the narrator stepped in and gave us a clue. <laughs> I mean, Grandpa was all willing to say, Use the A button! And stuff earlier. I don't think it would break character too much if he was like, Lily wandered around for a spell. And then chose to head to the north to do the thing. Yeah. Ooh, resurrection fire. I mean, that's pretty nice. Gonna be needing a lot of those. <laughs> I mean, we are gonna be fighting, like, a boss, probably. I mean, there's probably a dungeon and... Nice job not getting caught in the blast on that one. I'm proud of you. Oh, yeah. No, it's... Wait, why is... Oh, you found the quest log. It's like everyone you've talked to about quest things, I think. I think my Joy-Con decided to uh, disconnect for a hot second there. Oh. Okay, and this is... Druids! Hi. The Tree Lord. Hello, young knight of the rose. Us tree spirits were here long before your kingdom came to be. But now our days are numbered thanks to a wicked outsider and his dark magic. His curse upon these lands has affected ten of my tree brethren. Free them from his cold grip and I shall reward you. 
If not, I fear the time of the tree spirits will end soon. All right. I was kind of going for like one part end and like one part William Shatner, if you were curious. Oh, I see. So we've got two of them. I didn't want to go for the super extreme pause. But fair. at the same time, I definitely wanted to draw things out a bit because trees. That looks like a thing. Aw oh, man, does that mean that I was just the Lorax because I got to speak for the trees? Sure, let's go with that. Not gonna lie, that might be the episode title right there. <laughs> I usually look for some dumb pun of mine. You know, what I remember to put an episode title. Yeah, well... Sorry about that. These things happen. That's just how you know that it is an artisanal YouTube channel. Not one of them fancy... One of them fancy automated ones with staff. <laughs> Everything is lovingly handcrafted. Hello, oh, Mega oh. Man villain. I was gonna say, it's Woodman from Mega Man 2. Gotta beat him for the leaf shield so you can take on Air Man. Did you beat him? I think so. Or did he just bugger off? He's not shooting at me anymore. I mean, we'll take it, but... I guess I expected a more animated death animation? I don't know. What's this? Explodes. Closed! Come back later! Alright. I wasn't gonna read that sign, but it was so demanding I felt like it needed to have a voice. That's fair. Well, it's probably gonna be closed a little bit longer now. <laughs> Oh, I see our, I see our friend Leaf Man's back. Briefly. <laughs> that one I actually know. That one got stomped. The other one it wasn't super clear. I thought he did his little juke move. All right, my hundred percent itis is flaring up, so I'm gonna go the opposite <laughs> way. I think I should. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like, sometimes things like this are counterintuitive, and that's a good way to go, but... Now I think you're just stuck in the forest. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, that definitely seems like where something secret would be, but... No. <laughs> I like that that one was hiding in that cloud bank. Right, Trying to do you a fright. <laughs> yeah. Thank Every you. waterfall needs a cave. I'm... I am through. Oh! Music notes. It was like playing a mystical game of Simon. Yeah. Golem's Haven is home to Fairy Clover, a special plant brought here by the dist from a distant land by one of the first druids. It is said that when combined with other rare ingredients, it can remove evil spells and curses. I wonder if it will also do something to tame my mentor's awful mood swings. We've got an attack butterfly and 
Another attack butterfly. Nice. So yeah, fun fact about Simon Says type games. Uh, your average person doesn't have any problem... When I have any problem remembering seven numbers in sequence. And telephone numbers. Right. Eight or nine is a pain in the neck. Ah. That's fun. Yeah. I was impressed you got it first try. I was certain that... Oh, me too. <laughs> I usually mess up at least once. I didn't mean you personally, I just, like, the last couple were actually pretty, uh... Intense. Yeah. You did good. So, how many evil trees did they say they were? Like, ten of them? Ten of them, yeah. You've done one, right? Two, so, I think. Two? Oop, fell in a hole. Lily could not believe her eyes. Up ahead were two Earth Fairies. Ah. I want to point out that one of the Earth Fairies looks like how I picture Grandpa. <laughs> A little bit. But I dig that. Welcome to our sanctuary. We sense a noble and virtuous spirit within you. Please allow us to bless you with a gift. Hooray! A world is original and a piece of heart. Can't talk to the little one. Is there a house behind this waterfall? <laughs> I'm proud they did the other one. I already gave you one heart piece. What more do you want? These things are rare, you know. Good point. Hmm, but here's another word that's original. So, right. you know those, like, uh, strawberry-shaped candies? The ones that are coming, they come in the wrapper and they have, like, a oh, liquid yeah. center? The strawberry candies. Right. It's so, like, for the longest time, I'm like, where do you get these? Because I don't, like, see these on store shelves, and yet they seem to populate a lot of candy dishes of a lot of relatives. You get those from Hillshire Farms gift baskets. Right! I, I, I found <laughs> out last Christmas because I got a Swiss Colony one of those beef log things and that's what they used for filler I mean it had like the tiniest little beef logs and little things of cheeses and what have you but man it came with a ton of those of those little strawberry candies and while I nommed on everything in there with glee those strawberry candies brought me back and I was actually kind of happy to see them All right, well, next time on Endless Mode, I'm going to figure out how to get back to Golem's Haven now that I've crossed a bridge that I can't cross I mean, at least, back over. At least you didn't burn it. That's true. Oh, am I back? I'm back at the castle. Uh, I guess you could hand in mushrooms. I don't know if I have enough mushrooms. I'm going to grind out some mushrooms real quick. <laughs> we'll yeah. catch you next time.